The views expressed on the Nerd Realm are not necessarily the views of the Lagoon Out Network or its advertisers. Listener discretion is advised. Do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. You are now entering the Nerd Realm on the Lagoon Art Network where we bring all the nerd news and more to you. And now, the hosts of the Nerd Realm, Havoc and 404. Welcome to the Nerd Realm, everybody. The only radio show that saves the cheerleader and saves the world. I'm your host, Havoc, and with me is 404. Hey, Havoc, how are you doing tonight? Ah, oh, dude, I'm doing fantastic. How about Yum. yourself? I'm doing good too, and I would like to introduce our guest for tonight. And I'm so glad to have her. We have a guest. <laughs> we do. We do. It's our second guest ever. This is Pink. Yeah, the crowd gets a little crazy around here sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if it's the ladies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, come on. So where do we know you from, Pink? Um, I have done so much stuff. I was in Game Informer twice for Jack of All Games, the show, with Zolfar from WCG Ultimate Gamer. And then I was in Game Informer once again for WCG Ultimate Gamer. Uh, I played against them. And then the show I was on was, you know, Jack of All Games. And then I competed in War Games Operation Countdown, knocked out the full team of WCG Ultimate Gamer, um, which was Thirsty 3 to 1 and Zolfar 3 to 1 from Sci Fi, which was so much fun. And then when I was 11, I tested Halo 2 DLCs in Austin, Texas. Um, I was the first female to compete and win all of the icons and all the challenges in battlefield 1943 Damn. so that was pretty awesome and then i <laughs> yeah they can go on for then, quote. they can clap for a long time <laughs> i bet yeah, i can clap for me too <laughs> that's impressive i love battlefield i love battlefield 1943 i actually never played it before until I got offered by a website that's not actually up anymore, uh, gspree.com. They're actually a dead website now, but. I remember um, G3. Yeah, they were with uh, the GOG, Gathering of Gamers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I did a lot of work with both of them. And um, then I competed at the Fort Campbell military base for um, veterans. And I won first place and won the trophy with payback games and then i actually was the show match queen on there didn't really ever lose and <laughs> i was working with cage sykes from pimp my ride on payback games for that you have one hell of a resume you know i uh, yeah that's not even all of it <laughs> I, I i just beat tiger woods on pga 12. uh <laughs> i have tiger Woods. you know what <laughs> i got through world one one without dying <laughs> on Super Mario Bros. 1. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying here is that we are in the presence of gaming royalty. I wouldn't say royalty. I would say <laughs> experience. Okay. Gaming We're not experience. worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> I have titles in... Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Halo 2, Halo 3, um, World at War, uh, Mortal Kombat, Injustice, Street Fighter, Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero Wars of Rock and Rock Band. <laughs> oh, you said Street Fighter? <laughs> I've always yeah. wanted to play a champion at Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I love Street Actually, Fighter. I've grown up on Street Fighter. Actually, I've been looking for a worthy opponent at Rock Band because I I can lay it down pretty hard. I sing and I, and I play guitar on there at the same time, and I can I can put it down pretty hard. I can lay down yeah. some tracks on easy. 
I play extra <laughs> hyper speed too, and I can uh, use the double bass drums. Holy oh, free bird. <laughs> Holy goodness. Oh, no, that's scary. <laughs> that's like playing through the fire and flames. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know what? It's not as as fancy as uh, Pink's resume, but I uh, just want to let you guys know, and I hope you guys will cheer me on. Uh, Monday, September 8th, I will be at my local Hastings. I signed up today to play in a Halo tournament. And the winner gets a <laughs> Thank you. The winner gets a $50 gift card to, to Hastings. So let's hope I win it. And yeah. if I do, I'm buying Destiny. <laughs> Awesome. Do Good it. luck, buddy. Thank you. you Thank you. That. Woohoo. Yeah, you hear that, guys? Pink gave me a a, a, a certified good luck. I, I'm, I'm going to win. The guys just need to drop out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better hope you're not playing against it. her. She's going to take you down, man. <laughs> well, she's, well, she's not here, hopefully. <laughs> no, no, unfortunately. It they they didn't have smoke machines or laser lights or ACDC playing, so I'm pretty sure she's not showing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> I know that it, uh, I can pretty much pick up almost any game I've noticed because when I won my, I actually won my Injustice title last year on November 2nd. I won the title in Maine. Only in Maine, not around like the country i'm not like that good yeah. but um it was my first time playing the game and it was for xbox 360 but i practiced for two hours on playstation 3 and then i went and i went undefeated against like 54 players wow nice. <laughs> i love yeah. injustice actually uh who's your favorite character that you play with or are you like that let's say who's the championship character you won with green lantern Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Al Jordan in the house. I'm surprised. You're... <laughs> of course, no one used Aquaman, but he had, but he has some mad sharks though. Mad sharks. They tried. They tried. It didn't work. And then one girl tried to spam me with Catwoman. I'm like, you can't whip me. Like, come on. <laughs> Get off the. Page. See, I like using. See me. I like using Green Arrow. I mean, just because the fact that you like once they released that. Uh, uh, the arrow skin from the from, from the TV series. That's the only arrow I use. <laughs> oh yeah, I can spam people with the arrow all day. Yeah, <laughs> I get nasty with it though, man. You know, just, just nothing, just nothing but arrows, and then jump down in them, and then spin the bow in them, knock them up. I love that game. That game is fantastic. Yeah, it's <laughs> like me with uh, Blanca. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just shock you all day. <laughs> See, I see. I mean, you know, my brother when I was little, he got me started on Street Fighter when I was really, really little, and so uh, like I cut my teeth on that game. Guy was my boy. Uh, yes, everyone likes to say he's a spam character. I don't do it. I'd, I'll throw a Sonic Boom, yeah, but but that's just to get you blocking, and then I'll come in there and start kicking you and slamming yeah. you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get a little right. aggressive with Guile. <laughs> Oh man, but this is good seeing a Blanca player. I'd never hardly see Blanca players. You play online, I swear it's like the entire character screen is nothing but Ryu and Ken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm playing against a Ryu player. What's he gonna do? He's he's either gonna he's either gonna throw nothing but Hadoukens or he's gonna do nothing but dragon punches. So yeah, sure you can you left and right and get you trapped there. But, yeah, and then low kick you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, listen up. Uh, you can find us. You can listen to this, this video and more uh, at, at our YouTube page uh, via Lagging Out. You can go search Lagging Out. Uh, I suggest going also liking the Facebook page for Lagging Out. That's good stuff there, man. Really good stuff. In fact, last week we had our good friend, Chieftain, and you can see his, his podcasts with Zombie Killer and Funny Guy. Uh, go to their Facebook at facebook.com slash lagging out. You can also find their uh, find a link to their YouTube page. Well, subscribe. Go and like their page. Go and like their Twitter. I think you follow What's their up? Twitter. Follow their Twitter at, at lagging out. Yeah. Uh, and you can <laughs> and also... You're at it, go like ours too at, at nerd realm. L-O-N. L-O-N. 
at Nerdlon, <laughs> L-O-N. Yeah. I almost said L-O-L, okay? <laughs> Boy, I t- I'll tell you what, our read, our read is just as good as the lagging out guys because they suck at it too. <laughs> a read off that's what we're gonna do i challenged I the lagging out guys to a read off and this is <laughs> this is really stupid of me to do that because i've never even done a read before so <laughs> yeah and i'm doing this blind yeah. oh yeah and you obviously can't tell the difference well you can obviously can't tell the difference between red and blue text either can you <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pink, Pink, we had this worked out in our notes where all the blue text is the stuff that Havoc reads and all the red text is what 404 reads, but Havoc is colorblind apparently. <laughs> yes, yeah, I am. Pulled in slanted with underlines. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean walk off stage? <laughs> what I'm do supposed you, to read those? What do you mean exit stage left? <laughs> hmm. What does this Breathe button says? Heavily. What, what does this button that says cut havoc's mic do? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, let's. All right, you know what? You know, scene. Lion face. Lemon face. Let's try it again. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> um, but don't forget that you can, if you if you want to give us a dollar, which um, if a million of you would give us a dollar, we would still have 50 cents. But if you want to give us a dollar, you can donate on PayPal. But we need you to go out there and donate with Lagging Out for breast cancer because that's what it's all about. Um, but, yes. you know, actually, did you, Havoc, did you see Chieftain's ALS video? His. Yes, and I was in, and I was terrified the entire time watching it. I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me!" And then he said it, and then I had to go and brag. I was like, "Safe again." <laughs> I know. I I felt so safe. Also, I was like, "Do not say my name. Do not say my name." And it didn't happen. I was like, "Oh, thank you. I don't want to get cold at all. <laughs> I live in Maine. No." <laughs> I got to tell you, though, is that I think this is the ALS, the ice bucket challenges, you know, it's great. It's raising awareness and everything. But what it's really doing is creating a whole lot of painful videos. <laughs> that, that, yeah, people that, that are knocked out. Yeah, people are getting knocked out there. So there's, <laughs> there's probably been more emergency uh, rides to the hospital because of the ALS ice bucket challenge than anything else. I don't blame the challenge. I blame the people that want to use those freaking big buckets. You're not pouring it on an invading army invading your castle. <laughs> it's like a trash can. Like who uses a trash can from like I saw one, two buildings? I saw, I saw when this girl uh, had another person with her and they had this huge freaking like laundry basket or this big tote full of it and it slipped off the balcony and it hit her in the head I was oh like, yeah oh my god the the one <laughs> the one that i saw um the other day was is the guy standing there like on his driveway but with his house right behind him and you could see that there was a deck like he was standing below the deck and his buddy was up there with a big with a with, a, with like a five gallon bucket and so then he went to do it and the whole bucket was ice it was one giant ice thing they came down and Crack the guy right in the back of the head. He goes down. The camera kind of like flows away for a little bit. It comes back and he's laying there, and there's blood pouring out. <laughs> he ain't. Moving. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I think I just watched somebody die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stan Lee kind of did an uh, did, did an ice bucket challenge. Kind of. Kind oh, yeah? of. He was at a convention this past weekend, and uh, someone challenged him to it. And they did. It. I mean, the guy's ninety-one, so and with a pacemaker, I don't think that's gonna be really pretty well in his department. But uh, yeah. yeah, what they did was they poured it on, on you know, one of those little like, uh, like those uh those uh, pop bobblehead thingies. They oh, yeah. you can get a convention. I love those things. They, yeah. they poured it on that one, and that was how he did. It. He honestly thought they were gonna get him. They honestly thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he called Funko them major players too. Yes, those. Yes. Yeah, I love Funko Pop. I don't know why I went blank. I bought one earlier today. <laughs> I get him in my loot crate. Stan oh, nice, Lee's, nice, so Stan nice. Lee's 91 years old. Is that true? Yeah, it's 91, 92 around there. Wow. Because, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he looks like an old guy and everything, but I would say if you're, if you're right about that age, he looks pretty good for being that age. I mean, he's pretty sharp, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. 
What do you think the right. What do you think the monument's gonna look like for him? You know, I, it's gonna I be hope... him pointing up into the sky, and it's gonna read Excelsior on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that they do something tasteful. You know, I mean, I I hope it's not something where they have him like with a cape on or something lame yeah. like that. No, you know. No. See, you know, like, see, I think if they ever, ever made Stanley into like, you know, like a monument like that, he doesn't strike me as a cape person. I see, I see leather. <laughs> <laughs> leather. <laughs> like X Men One leather. Yeah, I see. I, I see him wearing Wolverine's outfit in the first uh, from the first X Men movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that thing was awful. <laughs> so what do you uh, think oh, would be better as a monument to Stan Lee? Do you think it would be a, a statue of him or a statue of maybe what he of his favorite character that he created, which I would I would probably guess a Spider-Man. I, uh, what I think they would do as a monument in I'd be totally for this one. I would donate to it. I really would. Uh, you know, like, like, like maybe like a bronze sculpture mm-hmm. of Easy Fantasies number fifteen. You know, like the iconic cover with Spider Man. Uh, you know, like with that crook under his arm and he's like posing off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be a really good monument in my opinion. I would love to see that. So you think but, something? You know, it's, same, it's really more about the character, you know, something that, of the 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 statue is kind of of Spider Man more than him, is what you're saying? No, I, I mean, mean see him and Spider Man. You know, you know, you know, that would be another one too. Because I was thinking, about, I was like, th- that would be more of a tribute to the artists, I think, instead of Stan. So yeah, you know what? I think you guys have a better idea with it, with you know, you know, with him and Spider Man. Because I mean, yeah, he he helped sculpt them. Well, of course, he's helped sculpt half of the Marvel universe with with Jack Kirby. Yeah, I mean, most of the characters we have are is mainly because of Jack Kirby and Stanley. Yeah, you know, maybe something that was kind of like where. He's sort of down in like a sort of a montage kind of thing where he's down in the f- sort of in the front and behind him is like all of his characters, sort of mm-hmm. standing, sort of standing around. Him. That would be pretty cool. I'm 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 uh, sure that said, I'm sure that when the day comes that we're gonna see something just like that. You know, I've already said that when that day comes, I'm ca- I'm calling in work. I like I like I, I'm gonna say I, I need bereavement time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my hero is gone. You know what, guys? Um, I, I had to slate it for later in the show, but I'm just uh, since we're talking morbid topics right now because this is such a fun, upbeat show so far. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh God! I, thanks. I yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just mention this now is that you know just today we had the passing of the great Joan Rivers. Um, you, you know, a lot of a lot of people, younger folks these days, don't really know who Joan Rivers was or other than from these fashion shows but Joan Rivers is well, a, know her, the Botox lady <laughs> yeah well Joan Rivers is a comedic legend and if you had ever seen her do her thing um, in in her prime uh, especially when she used to be back on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson um, mm-hmm. she got she got banned from NBC from stuff that she did on the Tonight Show um, in fact, her recent appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon was the first time that she's been back on The Tonight Show in, like, 40 years or something like that. Okay. Well, it's definitely not going to happen again, but, you know, um, she was hey, funny you know what, at as least hell. she got one more turn. At least she got one more shot at that. You know, exactly. And, and yeah, I'm glad you said that. Um, she was a funny, funny woman. And, you know, in, you know when, before all the plastic surgery, she was a smoking hot mama. Um, so, but um, in her passing, and I can't believe I'm gonna follow this uh, uh, sp- follow up smoking hot mama with this. But <laughs> in in her, in her passing, uh, Melissa River said on her Facebook page, "My mother's greatest joy in life was to make people laugh. Although that is difficult to do right now, I know her final wish would be to return would be that we return to laughing soon. And um, she's right." She's right. I'm pretty sure that her mom would have said something just like that. And, you know, rest in peace, Joan Rivers. I hope you're shaking hands with Robin Williams right now. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Are. Dude, my favorite John, uh, you know, you know, my favorite Joan Rivers thing, actually, from recent memory, uh, you know, she was in Iron Man 3, actually. There was a uh, small clip of her you know, where they were making fun of Iron Patriot. <laughs> <laughs> 
she was <laughs> it was hilarious <laughs> They were, just, they were just ragging on Iron Patriot. It was, it was fantastic. Uh, yes, d- d- despite what everyone may think about Iron Man 3, go watch that one scene. I think you can YouTube it. Uh, or if you have the copy of the movie, go watch that scene and enjoy one really quick Joan Rivers laugh. So rest <laughs> in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, she was always the grandmother that I wanted. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she, you remember she played, uh, she played, well, it was her. She voiced Dot. In the um, um, the android in the Spaceballs movie, yeah. Oh my God, that was her. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love Spaceballs. Yeah. Since we got our since we got our video game champ on the line here with us, Pink, have you ever played a game called Marble Madness? Uh, isn't that a game on the Xbox uh, App Store? It might be. It uh, I, I'm like sure a it's. Ball- it, are we Go talking ahead. about Marble Madness or like Marvel with a V? Marble with a B. Marvel. With a B. Yeah, as in. Oh, like, so it's, it's the little marbles that roll around and you have to get to the next checkpoint before you fall off the map? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hell yeah, I already beat that game. What up? <laughs> uh oh. The legend continues. <laughs> well, in our in our in our pilot episode, I told the story about how when I was a kid, we I begged for a Nintendo for Christmas and did not get one, but what I instead got was a uh, IBM clone PC that did not even have a hard drive in it. You had We had two, those two five and a half black disc drives. We had two of those. And I had Marble Madness on it as a game on that. And um, I got so pissed off at it that I kicked a hole in the wall right next to where the computer desk was. Oh man, yeah. The pilot episode was was tons of fun. <laughs> we had no idea what we were doing. We, we did not. We still don't know. What we're yeah, doing, we, but we're professionals. We still don't. That is a hard game. It that is takes, like patience and don't shake because you will fall off the map. And if you don't get to that checkpoint, you're screwed. You're going back to the beginning. Oh yeah, exactly. So. And the the um the kind of um, joystick I had for it was like one of the first kind of joysticks they ever made for a computer so it was like this it kind of looked like an Atari um, joystick but it was much much crappier um, and instead of having like a, a like a fairly decent stick that you could grab onto it was just like a it was like a little it was almost like a pen stuck in a wooden box so and the pen just moved around and you know it's like you have to be delicate with this thing and you know it's like I'm playing a game and you're slamming this thing around <laughs> yeah <laughs> That didn't last very long. They didn't make stuff very with very heavy duty back then. <laughs> yeah. That's because raging didn't exist back then. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we should probably finally move into the show here because um, we might be having a special guest calling in pretty soon. But <gasps> Ooh, I wonder who it could be. It's, want... This show is just full of special guests. It is. It's, it's like the Star Wars holiday special if it didn't suck. <laughs> 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 well, why don't Anyways, you uh, got, so we got some you, get some Nintendo news for y'all. Yeah. Uh we have three big stories featured in now they were in the they were in the news big time this week. Uh the sad news, uh they had to lay off 320 staff members from Nintendo Europe. Most of them were temporary workers through a licensing agency. But um honestly, I I, I know Nintendo sales have not been the strongest since the Wii U's come out. But I mean, what do you guys think the theory is? I'm thinking it was more of a shaving off the fat to, to maintain profitability, even though it's been the the number one reason on why supposedly. But it's I mean, you wouldn't lay off people if you know if there was if there wasn't a reason. I would say people aren't eating enough Taco Bell because <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah, that's like- <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm waiting for the connection between Nintendo and Taco Bell here. <laughs> well, actually, I think I already know where this is going. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so you eat Taco Bell, you're like, oh, this is so good. T9, what's up, Mountain Dew? And then you go and take a shit. If you don't have a Wii U next to your toilet. I mean, then you're just taking a fantastic dump. You're just bringing the Browns to the Super Bowl. But 
<laughs> we use are just so like they're good, but I would only play a Wii U if I was taking a dump. Like I wouldn't just bring it around with me and play in the mall or connect it to my TV and like <laughs> do that. It's like a it's a toilet console. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, cut off. Havoc, you're taking a beating today, man. <laughs> Yes, I am. And you're not even playing her in a game, and you're taking a beating. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh man. Four hundred four. Oh. What do you got for me? Do you like? Do you have any theories on on possibly why the Nintendo layoffs are happening? Yeah, because Nintendo sucks, man. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's to me, it's a gimmick game, uh, or it's a gimmick console, um, and they all try to do it. Um, Nintendo just they hit it big with the with the Wii, and you know who yeah. could resist that? Who could resist bowling? You know, I know. You at the same it. time, think about it though. Think about it. I mean, what Nintendo put out and everybody rags on, Microsoft and Sony somehow tend to to incorporate it into their stuff, and everyone's okay with it. Well, they like, all do that though. They all let, do let's it. Face it. The PlayStation I and the the Connect were both <laughs> versions of the sensor bar, just with a camera in it. Yeah, yeah, and and all of those things are gimmicks too. I, in fact, it kind of bothers me to say that I have the the PS Move. I have two of them, and uh, I had that. Didn't that thing bother you a little bit? <laughs> <clears throat> um, the 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 glowing ball was a little disconcerting sometimes, but um, yes. But for the most part, I mean, it was it was might as well be playing Nintendo, and the 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 the, the novelty of it wore off super quick for me you know just the same way it did with the Wii is that I played it we loved it we must have me and my ex-wife we, we must have bowled 4,000 games of bowling and then one day it was like it just never got turned on again ever <laughs> right and it's because when you play like 4,000 games of bowling then you know that you need to move just a little bit to the right right over that center bar to get that strike and yeah. it's just game over from there then it's just easy yeah so then it's like there's no point on really even playing the game anymore it's more for like i see nintendo like wii and wii u and ds and everything like that as like a child's gaming stepping stone into an actual which is console good in its own right though i mean you know which is which is good in its own right i mean we all yes. have to start somewhere yes i mean yes right. I, I i fully agree with both of what both of you guys said is that i think it's a great console for kids to start with because because they because they have the cutesy kind of characters and uh, the, I just don't want my kid exposed to Japan because those fuckers are weird <laughs> you know those, like I don't want I don't want my kids growing up on Pokemon and uh, Japan and, and I'm sorry I know a lot of our fans are big fans of that stuff but it's I, every time I try to get into it it just gets so freaking weird and I was like I feel like I'm gonna jerk off to a little girl here and this is disgusting <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> here come the tendrils <laughs> yeah that's what I'm talking about is that you know that shit has to come from somewhere and why does it always come from Japan and I'm not put, you know there you go that's why Nintendo's laying people off because there's too many weirdos <laughs> looking at that shit <laughs> <Yep. laughs> well, it's the true though. They have like the weirdest characters ever. Like, I don't know. Maybe oh. someone in the U.S. made it, but who came up with Super Sonico? Super Sonico is a very sexual animated character, and which Jessica Negri did an amazing cosplay of her. Jessica Negri so hot. Oh, my Lanta. And, um, but I mean, Super Sonico sticks her legs up, tied up to a bed. I mean, did someone in the U.S. come up with that? Or was that Japan? Oh, I swear it was Japan. That but, is Japan. <laughs> right. But if you yep. think about it, if you watch, like, I've seen certain videos of Japan. They make some badass arcade games. Oh, like, my God. Well, that's Car true. Hero on crack with your hands. <laughs> Like, it was like, I don't even know what it's called, but it was the sexiest thing in the world. And I wanted to buy like a thousand dollar worth of a plane ticket just to go play that damn game. Like, it looks so much fun. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, guys, I want to let you know that 
Joining us now in the air quote studio is the man himself, the chieftain. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I'm going to be quiet the whole show. I'm going to just let you guys talk, but. <laughs> this is the precedent. We have a four man team tonight. Four man team. All right, knock it off, people. <laughs> like, can the interweb control this? That, <laughs> that crowd, that crowd is unruly tonight. What are you doing tonight, Chieftain? I'm tired. How are you guys? <laughs> we're great. <laughs> we're, we're trying to we're trying to bring up a, a sagging show, and you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look buddy. at you. Look there at you, you go. <laughs> look at you coming in with high energy, man. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what, how are you doing? Uh, okay, I'm gonna call you Eeyore, Chieftain. You get a round of a, you get a round of applause like that, and you're like, I'm tired. <laughs> God damn, Eeyore. I was watching porn till 3 a.m. <laughs> Not far off. <laughs> oh God. That's sorry, man. So was uh, I. Japanese anime porn. <laughs> uh, Everything's got tentacles. <laughs> so we were we were just talking I, about um, Nintendo laying off a bunch of uh, 320 staff members of Nintendo Europe, um, and Havoc was asking what um, what our theories on this layoff might mean. You have any any insight on that, Joe? Have <laughs> chieftain? <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, everyone knows my real name from the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. At least eighty-seven of them do. Um, <laughs> I, I haven't heard. I haven't heard that, so I really can't make a really educated argument about it. But I, I would only assume that they're just downsizing because the sale of the Wii has well underwhelmed the whole market. Yeah. So that's the, that's my only theory behind it. Well. Uh... Actually, coming out this uh, fall, they actually have gotten a uh, a, a early start on their uh, their at least their. Uh, we have some we had there's some bundles that were announced over the week, uh, pretty much. Uh, some of the retailers, a lot of the main ones, are getting a a Wii U that's going to come with, which looks like it's going to come with. Bear with me just a moment. Uh, gonna it's gonna come with, with uh, Mario. Uh, sorry, it's gonna <laughs> to come with Super Mario 3D World. I'm getting it confused with my Walmart one. Uh, the, the it comes with Super Mario 3D World, which is a great, great game. I have it. I, I bought it. My niece loves it. Uh, I mean, well, maybe first demographic, not yours. So. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But <laughs> well, it is, well, a, well, it is yeah. a great game. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it, it has that classic Super Mario uh, uh, 64 type 3D environment. Just with classic platforming, it, it, it's I mean it's 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 mind blowing. It really was a fun game. I mean, it, it, like I didn't have to think. So, so you mean <laughs> it looks to... all? So you mean it looks all blocky and crappy on purpose? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pink but was in diapers when the first one came out for Game Boy. Hey, shut your right mouth! I can still snack. <laughs> <laughs> is she telling you? Is she putting you guys in place? She has a tendency to do that. Oh my god, dude! Like yet, the no, first yet. the first ten minutes of the show was her just telling us about all the ass she's kicked. <laughs> oh really? We know our place. We know our place. I was yeah, like, she's... I was like, hey, Pink, tell us a little bit about yourself. Ten minutes later, <laughs> we're like, oh my god, she's awesome. She's legit. Yeah, yeah she's legit. No, 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 but this holiday season, they're pretty much giving Wii U bundles away right now. I mean, uh, the, the Santa Pride is two ninety nine, but you're getting two games for much. You're getting Nintendo Land and you're getting Super Mario 3D World. Now that's coming to most of the, the regular uh, retailers, I believe, like GameStop, Target, you know, Amazon, I believe. Uh, Walmart's getting an exclusive one. They're getting Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8's probably been the most the, the most well-bought game for for the Wii U right now. I, uh, the, the DLCs are coming out. We talked about it last week, Chief, didn't you remember? Uh, yeah. Uh, and you're still getting Nintendo Land. Also two ninety nine, so you're getting just the basic stuff, plus a game, two ninety nine. Not a bad price in my opinion. How many times did you mention Diva Tequila and Pussy Energy Drink? I haven't uh, mentioned I, Energy Drink yet. Actually. Because I was, I was thinking you, it could be like a com- combination. You have Diva Tequila, you have Pussy Energy Drink, and then you put them together and it makes a new drink called Diana Ross. 
<laughs> Just saying. Marriage between the two. I, I would I would probably call it Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. I, I was I was either leading Diana Ross or Whitney Houston, but I don't think the Whitney Houston thing would go over too well. Soon. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was that's what I was thinking of. Uh, the pink, I think the first time she saw me, it was an actual surprise, like to me, because this is going to embarrass the hell out of her. That's why I'm telling her the story. Telling the story. Speaking hey. of speaking of divas and the queen of gaming here, and uh, I think her exact words were, "Wow, Chieftain, you're effing hot." <laughs> Isn't that true? I wanted your griff ball. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. It sounded to me like it sounded turns. to me like she wanted a spot on your show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work I, I have a griff ball that like you can't buy anywhere and she gets so much she's like, Alright, I'll do it for a griff ball and that usually ends the conversation because I don't give up that that thing for anything. So <laughs> you can't you can't buy them. You can't buy them anywhere. It's a collector's item. So that's going to be in your prenup agreement, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you could have everything else, but you leave my grief ball alone. <laughs> like, you can put a baby in, but I want the grief ball. That's what she said. <laughs> you can take child support with the grief ball. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep the kid. I just want the grief ball. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try turning it on? <laughs> oh my god. You sound like the kid. You sound like uh, Chris's girlfriend on. Oh Down god. Down Syndrome Girl. At least there's one voice I could do that funny guy can't do. <laughs> if you're going to enter this temple. <laughs> if you're going to enter this temple. <laughs> what is wrong oh, with you? <laughs> oh man! Yeah, yeah. Like Chief gets on the phone, uh, we just all get crazy. <laughs> it's a party! It's a party! So uh, let's maybe try to get this train back on the rails here. So um, okay. yeah, I just wanted to. Um, we're gonna throw these pictures up in the video, but uh, today, um, actually, it was you, Havoc, that came across this really awesome little Lego life hack, where. Yeah. If you take if you take um, little Lego figures, and their hands are the perfect size to hold iPhone cables uh, and various yes, they are. various other um, you know electronics cables, like their hands fit perfectly on it. So you take a little, so you take one of the flat pieces, maybe glue it to the side of your desk or onto your computer or something like that. Stick a guy onto it, and then have your cord hang right through it, uh, hang through his hands. It's almost like your little guy is holding your cord for you. So we're gonna yeah, throw some. One. Uh, yeah, it was the stormtrooper. Yeah, Love that one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're gonna throw the pictures up there for you, so you guys can take a look at that. And uh, most likely, you're gonna probably go steal about twenty of your kids' Lego guys and go amp up your desk with them. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. do it. I'm gonna do it. I have a I have a whole box full of Lego in my in my closet there that I'm gonna pull them out and find a few. Who there doesn't have a box of random Legos? Uh, uh, if you don't go. buy them, you wind up having them somewhere. Uh, well, I don't know let me, let me correct you. It is Lego. They are not Legos. It's Lego. Yeah, I have more than one. I Does know. anybody know what the term Lego means? <laughs> oh, damn it. I did. Yep. Yep. I forgot what it means now. Something really basic. It was like simple fun or something like that. Yeah, yeah. you're close. Play well. There you go. Well, that I'm getting that tattoo. Little <laughs> I worked. I worked for Lego Star Wars a couple of years ago. That's how I know. Yeah, so you, you told us that last week. Yeah, um, that's. I, uh, I just keep on recycling stories. So. Yeah, havoc. It is okay if somebody says the same thing again. I know. Well, no, it's a I refresh my own memory. My memory sucks. Half the, the listeners are going <laughs> to be yeah, like, you know what? Last week. Yeah. Yeah, the listeners, you know what? I challenge listeners to go back to the last episode and go find the part where we talk about that. Let us know the timestamp. Yeah, make sure make sure that we know for sure that we talked about that. And, you know. <laughs> yes, and let me know because I'll probably forget by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I have a dory memory. <laughs> oh man, episode three is going downhill fast, man. 
<laughs> Trilogies never work out well. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's or let's keep on rolling here. What what you got for us, Havoc? <laughs> what else is next? Uh, joining the cast of, of Arrow, Dominic Purcell is joining the cast as Heatwave. Uh, Dominic will be joining his one-time Prison Break co-star, Wentworth Miller, which we reported a few weeks back. At, he was cast as Captain Cold. Yes, this is a, these are real DC characters. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Captain Cold got me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those are those, those are terrible it's names. What's worse, if you go and watch anything with Super Friends and that has Captain Cold, he's wearing a freaking parka. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a he has like a hat, a hat. That's like you're in Metropolis. It's like 80 degrees. Aren't you hot? <laughs> no, they weren't even like trying with a name like that. Like I made uh, in DC Universe, I made a guy who was who, or I made a character who was um, based off of uh, Doctor um, Mister Freeze. And I named her uh, Quick Chiller. I was like, that's a cool name. That sounds like, like a DC character. Yeah, well, it's, it's a hell of a lot better than Captain Cold. <laughs> well, it's worse than Captain <laughs> Boomerang. <laughs> when I hit what what he throws? <laughs> <laughs> Is it arrows? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Thumbtacks. <laughs> Thumbtacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, uh, be, <laughs> they won't kill you, but they'll really hurt like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like stepping on. Actually, Legos. I made a little bit of a mistake. Actually, I made a little bit of a mistake. I apologize. It wasn't Arrow. He's joining. He's joining the Flash. <laughs> but you know, you know, it, it is a spinoff of Arrow. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of the meta villains are actually heading to Arrow uh, to Flash. It seems I'm obsessed with Arrow. I saw the new trailer today, so I've been really kind of excited about that show. Yeah, what are you talking about, Flash? This is I, I, this is news to me. What the Flash? You don't know there's a Flash series coming? Did it's coming? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a spinoff of Arrow. Uh, uh, in fact, season two is about to hit Netflix probably in the next week or so. Yeah. Uh, so you, meant, you mentioned so that a few weeks just, back. Yeah, <laughs> and there and there is a, a, a tie-in to to the spinoff. And but it seems like a lot of the meta villains, you know, the you know, you know, all the villains with superpowers, right. they're all going to show up on Flash, and they're going to let Arrow just take care of like crime bosses and whatnot. Might be a good idea, you know. Yes, yeah. because Arrow doesn't technically have any superpowers, right? No, 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 no. And he's just, he's that's, just really good at plainly bow and arrow. As you watch the series. He's just a hero. That's it. He's not a superhero. He's kind of like Batman. He's got like. Uh, 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 uh. See, I'm gonna stop oh, you right Hawkeye. There. I'm gonna stop you right there, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh. it's Hawkeye, Hawkeye, and Arrow. That's it. <laughs> it it's by that rationale, Pink Power Ranger or Pink should be a superhero because she's really good at games, and not and there's not many people. So, so Pink, you're now a superhero. So yeah. go get your go get your pink tights, and you're good to go. <laughs> she has the power of learning any game, as she told us earlier. She <laughs> does. Up under the Matrix. We might ship her up to Austin to do um, the Wall of Shame. If you can beat Pink, you get like a T-shirt yeah. or something. But if you don't, you have to sign the thing because she said she did that before, and it's a totally yeah, stolen that idea. That was so <laughs> much fun. Uh, I actually did that. Oh God, four years ago, before I had my daughter, and. I had a wall where people would challenge me at any game, and if they beat me, they got their money back because they had to give me a $5 fee to play against me. And then if they won, they got their money back and they got a prize. And if I won, I kept their money and they had to sign my game of shame. I had a huge wall. That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It brought in, um, it was actually a low in uh, just corner place to play video games. And by me doing that brought in a lot of people going, oh, a female, Psh, I'm going to get my money back easy. Yeah, no, it didn't happen. Nice. So people are going to learn. When are, like, well, when are people going to learn not to misjudge girl gamers? There's a reason why they're there. They're not just there to look pretty. They, are, they will kick your ass. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is because I don't even, I wouldn't consider myself a female or girl gamer because I've done it so long that... I'm just good at everything, so I just consider myself a gamer at this point. Yeah. But there are not many females I can play. 
I found that's that out. The obvious. That's true. Yeah, I, yeah. I, my uh, my ex wife w- would try to play uh, Mortal Kombat with me sometimes, and she would just pick one of the female characters and then just jump kick constantly. Just yeah. jump kick, jump kick, jump kick, and then she would win. It would piss me off. I'm yeah, like, I'm, it's, I'm it's, trying to pull so up a sweet move combos, here. When you know combos and everything, and you play against someone that's new to the game, and they spam you, it completely sidetracks you. Oh yeah. Because that my mom beat me in injustice because she didn't know how to play the game, and I was like, "What are you doing? You're not playing right." And she won. <laughs> <I was> like, ah, <laughs> oh, don't play this game again. <laughs> you gotta You're laugh. <laughs> well, you know, actually, let me ask you, Pink. Are you a sore loser? Like, if you lose a game, do you do you to like totally lose your shit? Yeah, she does. No, got, well, now it's gotten to the point I've lost a, quite a bit of tournaments. I've came in in second place in probably a little bit under half of the events I've actually played in. Okay. And now it's getting to the point where I've always said ruthless respect. You're ruthless in the game, but then afterwards, it's always respect. Yeah. I do get pissed sometimes if they're talking shit and I lose. That does piss me off, and then I just go off on a rant on them. Yeah. But. <laughs> It's gotten to the point now where it's kind of like, I just play for fun. I've done it for so long. It's just kind of like, if someone's going to beat me, there's always someone that's going to be better. Yeah. Because I'm only human. So. Okay, so so when you're at home and you're just playing by yourself, you're just playing for fun, you know, and just let's, you know, or something happens and you and you get killed, do you get super pissed or are you just like, all right, whatever, and just pick up and... I usually blame it on lag. <laughs> <laughs> Lag. <laughs> Always lag. Like you fucking. We're all flying. It's lag. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, dude, you totally glitched me into a corner. Or like, I'll get. I always get yelled at for drop shotting. Or um, she it's turned. To me, she's cheating. Cause in Ghost, my sensitivity is on twenty. And on Black Ops, I think the highest can go is fourteen. And I play on the highest sensitivity, so. When I turn on people, I turn and I drop shot immediately, and I get called a hacker a lot. <laughs> but I don't, like, I don't know, because they're pissed because I killed them. But I mean, I get the, I get the same way. Like I think that's just every gamer though. Yeah. Or Unless you play someone... Draco. Yeah. No. That's. Yeah. We talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> Off air, Draco is one of uh, contributors to a segment on the other show, and. Uh, I asked her off air. She's like, would you play one, one V one versus Draco? And she's like, no, I mean, yes. Well, <laughs> Draco's KD is really low, but Draco, again, I was talking about hard strength last week and Drake, when Draco, when Draco can like turn it on, he just goes crazy. And like, I think has seen him do it. And she's just like, I'd play her. And then I was, another question I asked her about was a uh, sniper wolf. She's like, I would play her. I don't know if I would beat me, but I'll, I'll let her tell the story. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, first with Draco, he's he's hella good. He's a really good slayer. Um, when he gets into his game mode, he's just like me. It's constant paying attention, sound horn. You know the spawn points. You're going to go straight for it. He's just like me. So I don't know if it would be an even match if I 1v1 Draco or if he would just completely slaughter me by like spawn killing me, which I would t- totally do to him. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, either that or I just corner camp and wait for him. Listen to those little feeties. Um, with Sniper Wolf, I've watched a couple of her YouTube videos and seen a couple of her streams. And I used to follow her on, on Twitter and Facebook, but um, she's normally a PlayStation gamer, but she does do Xbox. And she's very, very good at PlayStation. She's not so good at Xbox. She's good at Xbox, but she's not. Like, at the same time. Like, you can tell that she's playing against Christmas noobs when she plays. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> these kids don't know how to play. So she's making herself look good. I know that's bad because I'm saying that on air. But, because <laughs> now I'm going to get tacked by, like, 10,000 fucking people. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, just hey, you know just way, way I see it, a- way I see it, that just means that she has to come and prove it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would win or lose against her because I've never played against her. And it's just, like, if people were to watch my stream, 
I get a lot of kids that get put against me. We're all like 15 and oh, I'm in search and destroy. But then mm -hmm. I could get up against a good team where I'm, where I'm not live and I could get completely slaughtered. So it's pretty much just how you make your videos. <laughs> so, I mean, it could just be her luck, her host, whatever, because that can happen to me too. So I really don't know if she would win or if I would slaughter her. I, I really don't know. It would really have to come down to it, but I, I doubt that if anything, she would even remotely make the time to play against me. What was the last game that you played that, or let's say, what was the last boss that you played that just pummeled you constantly that you, you, it, it, it took like 50 tries to get past this guy. Jason, if you can think of one, throw it out, but I think mine's going to be God of War. Oh, uh, which oh. one? The first one? Um, it wasn't on Xbox or anything like that. It was on PSP. I could not beat this fucker. Like, it was ridiculous. It was pissing me off. Um, I think that was the last one. No, no, I take it back. Take it back. It was Lollipop Chainsaw, the guy on the fucking boxes. Oh, man. That asshole. Oh. <laughs> Wow, mine's not even that good. Well, that makes me look like a friggin' noob. Uh, Stick of Truth, South Park, the underwear gnome boss motherfucker. He, oh, he, he was tough. I died like balls and titties everywhere, and I can't get through. It's just like you gotta dodge like testicles, and like yeah. it's just hard. <laughs> Yes, I, I didn't have any. I didn't have any problem with that. I mean, I got knocked. I got knocked out with the balls once or twice, but that was. It was just like okay, just. Oh, flip that's the, gonna be fun to cut around. I'm not cutting any of that. Finally, fired. I after. really died because I was laughing so hard from that entire sequence. So I was like, wow, man. <laughs> My roommate's like, "Why are you yelling about?" He's like, "I can't dodge the balls," and she's like looking at me funny. It's like the balls keep on hitting me in my chin, and she's like looking at me funny and stuff. I'm like, you don't understand. Well, the it even the even more you. sick part, the even sicker part of that is that y your character is dodging his own father's and mother's balls and boobs. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> oh, if man, I knew, that's... if I knew you, if I knew you wanted to play that game, Pink, I would have just mailed it to you because I just traded it in. Damn it. Mm, I do all digital I downloads. Totally play balls all day. <laughs> can can you destroy repeat destroy that? I, I stepped all over you there. What did you just say? Because <laughs> the last thing you just said it was it was like it was like rrr, 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 I like balls. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally play that game just to like beat through all those balls. Okay. <laughs> That's even yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> she is a ball breaker. If you're ever on her team, she's like, she's like a Mickey from Rocky. She's like, no, do it again, you son of a bitch. Cause pink blood. You're a bomb. <laughs> you know, you what's know. the matter? You can't get that camp out. What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, you're a bum. You'll always be a bum. You'll never be nothing but a bum. <laughs> I smell skit. <laughs> pink, pink. I'm one of those guys that would make you absolutely insane if I played Ghost with you or something like that because I don't play a whole lot of first person shooters. So you'd be like, you would probably, if I was on your team, you would probably kill me more yourself more than anything else. No, <laughs> like, no, I'm fucking I tired with of you. you. <laughs> I played with Chieftain before, so if I can deal with Chieftain's horrible skill, then I think that. Uh, <laughs> but I think we'll be good. But you know, I still love you, Chieftain. I'm an animate denial of my skill on Call of Duty. I, I'm just I'm I'm so bad at the first person shooters that I I know I piss my teammates off because I'm a, I'm I'm a scavenger kind of guy because I'm just used to that from so many other games where. You know, if you go way off in the far corner over here, you might find a little power up. 
or like a giant box of ammo or something like that. So the team's trying to take off and go do something. I'm like, oh, I'm over. I gotta take a leak in the bushes over here. <laughs> you don't water the plants. Give me a second. Yeah, <laughs> that's being assassinated. Oh no! <laughs> oh, right to the face. Yeah. I got Nick. I mean, it does irritate me when I get into a game and I'm like really trying. Like with Ghost, I I hate that game. I absolutely hate that game. And, but I mean, I'm okay at, I wouldn't even say I'm good at ghosts because I know I'm not. But when I drop a 50 bomb and I barely die and I got my team going fucking like two and 20 or some chick went like seven and 40 something and we fucking lost. I was pissed. Oh my God. You best believe I was making her cry and like throw her controller in like a fucking blender because it was just, it was bad. So when I'm trying to win, I'm like, oh, I can't stand people that suck on my team. And Lucky's the same way. Oh, God, she even gets after me. Like, if I start slacking, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then I got to pick up my game. But Luck- Lucky is Pink's uh, gaming pick. partner, by the way. She is my plus duo. She is your Robin. The Robin to your Batman. Don't tell her that, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not like she's gonna listen to this or anything. <laughs> she better. Yeah, totally going to. <laughs> she's just gonna hear this and call people. and be like, "Hey." I actually have two people that I play with on Xbox on Halo, like pretty often actually, and they they are they're actually probably listening either right now or, or in, you know, like I know they've watched some of my stuff before. Uh, I want to throw a special shout out to Dollface and Cupcake. They know who they are. And they are pretty damn good. I mean, they they do have some Halo skills. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, throw, uh, throw you know, your for me, outs, man. yeah. <laughs> what? I said, throw your shout outs out there, man. Keep them coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, those are the only two people I play with now on DCQ. <laughs> I have the best sidekick in the world. <laughs> oh really? Are uh, yeah. well, I guess I am your sidekick on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's also he's my psychic on the show I mean you're like we'll go fight crime together on DC Universe Online freaking fantastic <laughs> watch nerd realm I, I am your aqua lad the only guy worse than Thor oh, oh hey oh man. man Thor's badass the sad thing is that's Aquaman's lackey <laughs> unless you watch Young Justice then aqua lad's actually kind of cool you know, on the last <laughs> show, you were saying that Hulk and Thor got into a fight that Thor went through 30 feet of Earth. Well, and I didn't have a good retort with the Hulk, but if you watch the Hulk, the Hulk was actually on top of a freaking F-18 Raptor going into the atmosphere and then fell to the Earth and survived it. So he was saying like- that Thor is stronger than the Hulk is a bunch of Hey, listen, listen, Chieftain, Chieftain, (laughs) this is, this is the nerd realm. We don't, we don't, we don't tolerate language like that around here. Word? I'm going to have to use the beeper on that now. God (laughs) damn it. (laughs) Actually got me on a radio show where I didn't even curse, but it made it sound like I did curse. I'm like, you bastards. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh. Mm -hmm. Actually, in other DC news, did you hear about The Rock? Is he announced recently that he's going to be playing Black Adam in a Shazam movie? Yeah, and, he's been tweeting about it for months, and, and he's made it. He was going to play Captain Marvel. I was like, I mean, I didn't want him to play Captain Marvel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not. Oh, sorry, not Captain Marvel. He's Shazam now. I forgot. My bad. But he's but he's it, playing it, Black the, Adam. He's not playing Shazam. Or yeah, he's not playing Shazam. He's playing Black Adam. Black Adam. And, Do you know and who I'm broke that story? Project no. Playground dot me. Actually, one of our affiliates actually broke that story. One of the people that broke that story first. So really, yeah, it's on our Facebook page. Oh, they actually have a whole expose on Project Playground dot me if you want to check it out. Well, here's my question about that: Is that who gives a crap about Shazam? Apparently, you don't know the word of Solomon, sir. Exactly. <laughs> no, I guess I don't. But 
The only thing I know about Shazam is from Netflix, and I watched a show about Shazam. Shazam was like, is that how he's? Is that how it's from? He's a That's child. It's from? He's a child. Yeah. And when he says the word Shazam, all of a sudden he turns into an adult with superpowers. I'm like, and then at some well, point if he if he says it again, he turns back into the kid. And I'm just like, why would you ever say it again then? I was like, this is the <laughs> dumbest. This is the dumbest premise for a superhero since Ant Man. It's like saying Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's like it's like the Beetlejuice method exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's essentially what happened. You go, he goes, Shazam! And then all of a sudden, poof, he turns into this big doofus, really. Um, turns into Shaquille O'Neal, I mean. <laughs> that's Kazam. <laughs> oh, sorry. Equally as, so, equally as terrible, but, you know. <laughs> so, I, I mean, are you, aside from the fact that a Shazam movie is stupid in the first place, because it's going to go, you might as well file this one right behind the Lone Ranger that nobody's going to go see this and nobody's going to give a crap. And why? Because nobody knows who Shazam is anymore, you know, or, or Captain Marvel or whatever. I mean, maybe through a few uh, animated shows recently and stuff, but it, this guy doesn't have the kind of uh, the background and the the, the fan ba- the fan him, base. Mainly. Yeah, and I, you know, you don't see a whole lot of movie studios throwing a crap load of money at a barely known hero. Well, actually, we we've seen. Living, I mean, they're we do TV, live in a world of Guardians guys, of the Galaxy made it number one repeatedly times after launching. Well, that's I mean, that's true. That's true. Um, and and you know, there's going to be some of those ones that uh, that are outliers like that. Um, that you know, you kind of didn't see that coming. But um, mm-hmm. Shazam in, in particular, I, I just I don't see this movie going anywhere. Um, yeah. Shazam's going to be hard. That's going to be a hard sell. They're going to do, do a Shazam movie before they do Wonder Woman. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, what Guardians really had going for it is when they had the Disney machine behind them. You have Disney behind you. You're. Oh, yeah. I mean, whatever your beliefs on Disney is, I mean, whether they're an evil corporation, which they, they might be. <laughs> they're but part of the Illuminati. If you, yeah. <laughs> if you have her backing, your stuff is going to sell. I mean, oh. I mean, how many years did they shove Hannah Montana down our throats before we finally realized Molly had no talent? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even got an ass to shake. <laughs> uh, but Jack no, I mean singing like blurred lines and stuff. <laughs> well, and well, and you know, with you know, with that, they also had the cuteness factor. They had Rocket Raccoon. You had a, rac- a talking animal, and you had a tree. And then you had just, you had so many commercials being thrown down your throat everywhere. Marketing, toys everywhere. DC does not have the best marketing. They, they try to market to, they don't market toward kids. They try to market to like the teenagers and up. You got to make it go to everyone. That's who's going to, because you want to have parents to bring their kids to these movies. Because, I mean, if it's going to be, I mean, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have taken a kid to go see Man of Steel. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the scene with the skulls. Where he's being dragged underneath the skulls. I'm like, there, there's a nightmare and a half right there. Mm, thank you. Thank there you. was no product placement with Groot drinking a Dr. Pepper or anything? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. He was just saying, I am Groot all the time. Hey, when was the last time you saw one of the original I, Superman movies? Like like Superman 1 or Super 2? Superman 2. I watched Superman, Superman 2 the other day, actually. I, I can't remember which one it was, but one of them was nothing but a non-stop Diet Coke ad. Every every scene had a Diet Coke in it. Oh, man. Which one was that? It was either, it was the first or second one. I'm not sure. Or maybe I don't know the second one. one I know the second one had a... Had a lot of Lois complaining, <laughs> <laughs> and more than usual, more than usual. Yeah, <laughs> you know, for a reporter that's very astute, <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> let me let me take my glasses like when, off. Oh like my like God, where did Clark? She's got glasses on. She takes it off. Where's pink? Where's pink? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> that would be if, one way to like take my superpower away. Or if she if she smiles at a picture ever on Facebook, I can't recognize her. <laughs> <laughs> she always looks like she's mad at the freaking world. I do. She's a I pretty do. girl. She should smile. Probably because she just came out of competition, just whipped like fifteen people's asses. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> That's what always happens. 
Oh, oh that's her walking away from explosions face. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You got to look hardcore when you walk away from an explosion. Never, Just so I you know, never look at it. This is a good radio show, not the one that you were on about three years ago. Just so you know. <laughs> oh yeah, that one that we know about. Actually, this radio show is going on super long tonight. So uh, why don't we kind of why don't we kind of keep rolling here and um, yeah. let's do this read again. Yeah, take two. Yeah, take two. <laughs> do you do you, uh, do you do you get how this works, Havoc? I do understand how this works now. <laughs> okay, well you're 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 blue. No, I'm blue. So you're blue. <laughs> I'm blue. You're red. Red wire or blue wire? Which one do we cut? <laughs> do you even know what I'm talking about when I say that? Red yes, yes, I do. do. Okay, great, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is the magic of radio, folks. <laughs> All right, so we know you what we're catch, doing. <laughs> you can catch the Nerd Realm on the Lagging Out Network on like a hundred different different places to be able to see it. Um, you can check us out on YouTube at lagging out l-a-g-g-i-n-o-u-t and find the nerd realm playlist where and else have you can it? also go to the go to the facebook of lagging out go to facebook.com slash lagging out once again like 404 spelled for you l-a-g-g-i-n-o-u-t yep uh they we are also on instagram at lagging out show l-a-g-g-i-n-o-u-t-s-h-o-w Follow us. Follow lagging out on Twitter at l a g g i n o u t. That spells lagging out. It does spell lagging out. You can also find the Nerd Realm on Twitter at Nerd Realm L O N. Um, and definitely get out there and donate a dollar to us on PayPal. I know. I and know don't forget. Don't forget though. You, it's very important. This is a major thing. We are big supporters of this. Donate with lagging out breast cancer. Yep. You need to donate to that. It's it, it could it could help it could help your sister, your mother, your your best friend if they're a girl. I mean, the little known fact. Actually, <laughs> this is a little known fact. This is a little known fact, guys. I mean, this could also really affect guys too. It's it, it's rare, but it does affect guys too. Don't think that women are just the only ones that get it. And, and also, don't forget hashtag one up for boobies. One for boobies. <laughs> Save Pink. the tatas. Pink, I that is you. true. Actually, Lily Raven actually came up. A, a female actually came up with that hashtag. It wasn't any of the dudes on staff. <laughs> uh, Pink, yeah, I we, thought. Uh, I think you have a few sponsors too. Do you wanna? You wanna give a few shout outs? Oh, I do. Um, I currently have Pussy Energy Drink, that is based out of London, and I have. Real Gamer Gear, which is a clothing line. You can find them at realgamergear.com. I have Gamer's Edge Eyewear, which is glasses for gaming. It's awesome. They come in, I think, five or six different choices of lenses that you can pick from and frames. And then Levitate Tournaments. Sorry to put my stuff on mute because I'm editing uh, the intro and outro for uh, Saturday's show. Oh. We have a we have a show coming up this Saturday. That's Chieftain, correct. Tell us about it, please. Tell the tell the lovely nerd realm people. Chieftain, uh, your mic is on oh, mute. Sorry, I had myself on mute again. Um, <laughs> I, I'm talking to you as I'm trying to get to my notes now. <laughs> um, we're talking about the Diablo three. We're talking about the guy who. The, the story where the kid got 25 years to life for some sort of I don't know what the get the f- you stupid f- was it called swatting thank you swatting <laughs> <laughs> was it was it real was it f- find out I'm lagging out um there's a, no, we're actually we're having one of our characters come in but you guys are gonna have to tune in to watch who will be coming in on the show and also uh, the lagging out the giveaway stuff I that's know who coming it is. on with there. I know um, who if you is. guys don't remember the last week was Pac-Man was designed by whatever. You can go look it up on our Facebook page because I'm not pronouncing that Japanese name. So it's really hard to pronounce. So it's really hard. But uh... 
<laughs> well, uh, guys, this week, uh, this week in comics, actually, I just got through reading it uh, uh, today. Well, uh, well, this past Wednesday saw the end of of Marvel's big summer event, Original Sin, which dealt with the uh, murder of the Watcher. Which, if you go on Google, you can look up what the Watcher is. Is it, it's in his name what he does. <laughs> I do it, and I'm if, and I'm creepy. He the watcher does. Deals, oh, he's a he comic mostly deals being. with porn. It's, <laughs> it's a freaking voyeur, dude. <laughs> I see everything. <laughs> I've watched all the porn. <laughs> Wait, all of it? All of it? All of it? <laughs> I don't recommend any of it. <laughs> the only, well, only being that's seen the entire internet twice. <laughs> well, uh, what had happened? Uh, apparently, someone murdered him, and you do find out in number eight. You do finally find out. It took Did you see it coming? Issues. You know, they hinted at it, and I was actually kind of disappointed when they finally revealed it. But at the same time, it ended on a really kind of weird note of where they're going to take it with a certain character. Uh, and you find out also in like issue six issue seven around there uh that another major character from the past had a secret uh had a secret mission that no one knew about it not the avengers not x-men no one no one knew what this character was doing but it, it was it, it definitely it definitely makes you realize on why that person disappeared so often and it made sense and imagine how much blood this character had on his hands at the end. And uh, I mean, it ended very kind of lackluster, but it ended on a decent note that I know this character is not dead. So, so I love this character. So we're so we're not so you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna tell us what character you're talking about, but you're in the comic book. Has, but you're but you're more than happy to just spoil a brand new movie. <laughs> well, okay, all right. He has an eye patch and he's not black. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's his name start with it's a pink. W. It starts okay. with an N. <laughs> and, no. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Spoiler alert. Pink killed the watcher. <laughs> I did. He, he was cheating in Call of Duty, and he fr and she freaking drop shot him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, tactical button layout. <laughs> <laughs> But also, this Wednesday started a four-part arc. It's only going to last this month. This is this is the best comic arc I've ever seen. It's one month. It's really well condensed. There's not really that many tie-ins to it. There's not like 18 different tie-ins to the same event. Uh, the death of Wolverine started. Uh, over the past year, Wolverine's healing factor was taken away by a sentient virus. It uh, And pretty much, it's like blood in the water. Every villain that Wolverine's crossed which is a pretty lengthy list when you think about it. Damn straight it wants is. Wants him dead. Uh, and in this one, it deals with a character which in Captain America blew up. I don't know how he's in this one, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> a character named Nuke tries to cash in on this thing. Wolverine's held up in like this island, and <laughs> he's ready. And you find out a little bit more about, about what's killing him, and I'm not sure exactly what's going to kill him. I don't know if it's because he, uh, he's been saving up to fight Sabretooth again because he got his ass kicked at the end of his last volume against Sabretooth and and looks like it's going to be one more fight between him and Sabretooth uh, it's going to like I said this is a four part issue it's going to end uh, at the end of September so it's so a weekly event so go to your go to your comic book store put it on your pull list if, if they still have number one grab it it was a really good read uh, but it, it's, it's written by Charles Soul. this is it's funny uh, the artist they also had to do this uh, this is his first time really working on a Wolverine book, and it's funny. It's his first X Men book, and he's going to kill a popular X Men. But with comic book deaths, like we saw with Superior Spider Man, with Peter Parker uh, getting the whole mind swap into Octavius's body and dying in Octavius's body just to come back this past April. Uh, what do you guys think? Do, do you think Wolverine's going to stay dead? Apparently, Marvel's saying it's a permanent thing, but you know they have to say that. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it's a really it's like killing Mickey Mouse it's like one of their staples of their the Marvel Universe you know and everyone you know he's like that guy he's that anti-hero and mm -hmm. that reluctant hero that you know he does it because he has to um, 
from what I've read, Havoc, I agree with you. Like, Marvel is saying that he's going to stay dead, and all the reports are saying that he's going to stay dead. But if it's going to piss off a lot of people, I think they'll find a way to bring him back. Well, yeah. So. I mean, uh, to Dan Slott, he wrote uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, and he also is the reason why, why Peter Parker died in Amazing Spider-Man number 700. And for a year... Yeah, it was funny because I read an article with him. He, uh, you know, he he used a wrestling term called playing a heel, which is a bad guy in wrestling. Uh, you know, he, for a year, he had to play uh, a heel because every time someone asked him, well, when are you going to be bringing Parker back? He was like, no, he's dead. Get over it. <laughs> he's oh, not coming yeah, back. he's not coming back, brother. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> he's dead. But you know, with Wolverine dying. No, it's uh, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Well, He's not going to stay dead. Um, you know, because they yeah. could do something. They could, they could take it down to, like, somehow they, his remains retained some of the uh, the, the healing factor that he had. I mean, I, I know you said that somehow it was taken away, but let's say yeah. it's one of those things where it's like it wasn't fully pulled out or something. And, you know, in his remains just over, like, six years or something, it took and his whole body regenerated and... You know, yeah. Ooh, you know like what we're going to see is we're going to see that one. We're going to see that uh, that panel where you see the claws sticking up out of the grave. Yeah. Right. Could, could be the soil that collected all of the energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think something. Right like that. I mean, it's too easy to be able to, to say that Wolverine is dead and he's not coming back. It, there's no way. You're just like you were saying, well, he's, he's too popular the of, of universe, a character. Wolverine, uh, their Wolverine is dead. Like he is, he's been gone for like three, four years now. Uh, Magneto killed his ass in the Ultimate Universe, which is a kind of an offshoot of the Six One Six, which is the mainstream universe. Uh, the, the, the Ultimate Universe, like like Ultimate Spider Man and mm-hmm. the Ultimate, which is the Avengers over there. Well, their Wolverine is dead. Like uh, they, during an event called Ultimatum, uh, Ma- uh, Magneto fried him, and before <laughs> before Wolverine d- disintegrated. He, he impaled Magneto, and the only thing that was left was a, was a charred hand. There was no skin or any, no DNA, and it's being held by S.H.I.E.L.D. But Wolverine has yet to come back in the Ultimate Universe. Um, but, like, you know, with the 616 Universe, that's the mainstream universe. That's that's the, that's the one that everything's based on. That's the stuff that's happened since the 60s. That's happened. Yeah. It, it's still going on. With Wolverine dying, he, he's done pretty much. He's fought his entire rogues gallery. He's beat them, beat them all a thousand times. For this one, I think it's going to be a really nice little transition. It'll give him a break because he's in like three, three or four different books. On top of his own, he's in a, uh, uh, you know, he's part of the Uncanny Avengers team, which is made up of like both X Men and and Avengers. He's part of the actual Avengers team, the X Men. I mean, he's, I mean, he's he's overly worked, and with this storyline, I think it's a really good way to to give him a rest and to do what they kind of do in wrestling. It's called repackaging. It's where you put him on the shelf for a little bit. And then you bring him back in a big art because mm-hmm. he's actually one of Marvel's heavy hitters, like Hulk and Thor and Cap and all of them. He's one of their heavy hitters. And uh, well, next specifically month, for the fact the, that you can't their, kill him. Yeah, and uh, next month launches their new event called Axis, which is going to deal with the Red Skull, who has the, the the mind of Charles Xavier implanted onto his brain, and so he has psychic powers. So you have the Red Skull walking around with Charles Xavier's brain attached to him. Ooh. Yeah. Like and he's quarter. already starting to, and he and he's already starting to exhibit signs of onslaught, which which if you guys go and research onslaught, he's that really really dark pissed off corner of Charles Xavier's brain that no one wants to mess with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of like uh, and, the Phoenix, you know, kind of like have that rage. You know? Onslaught makes the Phoenix look like a. P- oh okay, the only person I think that can beat Wolverine is Pink with a headshot when he's camping. <laughs> <laughs> With I'm an pretty MLPM sure. Bullet I'm pretty sure P90. Thor could take him. He day. could do it with a rubber bullet. I could. I could shoot. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Even these <laughs> would hurt. Oh my God. See, and Pink is gonna. Uh, Pink is gonna be in episode 703. As Havoc will just say so quickly just now. Go ahead, Havoc. <laughs> what was I Wait. gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, Pink uh, is represented in three different comics. They're kind of wearing her out, giggity. But you know. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, man. <laughs> and this is why I get invited to the nerd realm. <laughs> and, and, this is, shit. and this is why I had to cut three quarters of last week's show out. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, speaking of comics, all right, guys, this the top one I wanted to discuss. I didn't get a chance to really discuss it last week. Uh, sp- uh, the upcoming Spider-Woman number one variant cover mm-hmm. by an artist named Elo <laughs> Manara. Uh, it has a very, um, I guess people will say racy cover. <laughs> uh, he, he's he's a, he's an erotic artist. He does a lot of, uh, uh, of, of uh, I guess, sexual comics, I guess. I don't know. I've never really read any of his stuff. Uh, but you just did, did you guys have to check a photo of no. Yes. I like that. I mean, that's what the internet's for. Yes. <laughs> I, I did take a look at this photo, and um, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Hang on just a <laughs> Um. Yeah, I see this photo, and, and you're right. This is this is definitely done by an erotic artist. Um, it's not, gr- it's not really graphic in any way. It's just that you, what she really looks like is she looks like she's just wearing a full body paint suit. So it's nothing but it, paint. That was my only complaint about it is that you know, it wasn't the pose or anything. But everyone's making fun of the pose. Everyone's having this big deal over the pose that it's. That you that, 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 like that it's just overly sexualizing her. I'm like, well, it's she's climbing ass crack a wall. central. She's not even climbing a wall. She's on a roof, crouched down in the exact same position as Spider Man. If you were to put Spider Man's body on top of Spider Woman, it's the exact same pose. She Definitely. just doesn't have stripes on her red outfit. Yep. So exactly. It, and they did a side by side with Deadpool too. So whatever. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing. I mean, if. There's, I don't know, if that someone was cosplayed, oh, like, I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, if you put a, I don't know, let's say Jessica Negri because she's hot. So if you were to put her in a complete spandex outfit like she did for Lollipop Chainsaw, gorgeous, by the way. Um, I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with that. Her boobs were completely exposed except for her nips. But, you know, save the tatas. And... <laughs> Spider Woman, she's not exposed whatsoever. She's just, it looks like it's maybe painted on her latex. She's completely covered. I mean, she might have a camel toe depending on where she bends, but other than that, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, I've seen yeah, worse I mean, than Super Sonico. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I mean, yeah, like the only thing that, 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 that is kind of funny to me is that the, <laughs> where the spandex folds over the ass. I'm like, it, it just, it just, I'm like, <laughs> it does look like she's wearing uh, body paint, and over at DC they have someone who's who's an expert at drawing paint. That's why he left Marvel, Jim Lee. <laughs> and uh, I mean, but I don't see any reason for it. I don't know what the big hassle is about. It. I don't know why 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 like a lot of these feminist groups are starting to rally to to get this cover banned. I'm like, it's definitely it's, it's definitely it's, a, a air quotes sexual picture, but it's not graphic. It, I mean. It shows a really hot ass, really. I mean, that's the only thing you can really say about it. Um, and she's I don't like from, from 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 climbing up the wall. I guess that's where I got the whole. Yeah, she's like, she like it's there. like she had just climbed up over from, you know, climbed up the wall and was coming over the rooftop, and it was just kind of like that first pose. So, yeah, yeah, so she's, she's an infiltrator. I mean, she, I mean, she's sneaking. I mean, it shows that she's sneaking into some place. <laughs> Oh, no, but seriously though, I'm gonna go ahead and say this: if I have any of those listeners that are against this picture, I don't see what the big deal is. If you want to voice your opinion, voice your opinion on it, we'll post the picture in our group. Uh, oh, you'll definitely comp- be seeing the picture on the video here. <laughs> well, that too, that in too. Fa- but in you fact, know, we're gonna have no, the picture on the uh, video for extra the Facebook, long time. Uh, uh, <laughs> Comment on the YouTube page. Comment. We would love to hear from you guys. Comment. Uh, comment to us on Twitter. I mean, I mean, we we want to hear from you guys. If you guys have a case against this, let me know. If you're for it, what would you do? Let's do this too. Yeah, because I don't think guys, anything wrong with the picture. I would be complete. I would take a photo at a convention with someone who cosplayed as Spider Woman. I totally would, and I wouldn't feel awkward rubbing my boob up against hers at all while taking the photo <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind i wouldn't be awkward and feel awkward in watching that happen either 
right? It would be in a very great struggle snuggle photo that I would be okay with. <laughs> <laughs> and I am speechless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, ladies. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think that I think that's it for the show. Pink, it was a pleasure having you on the show with us. The Chieftain, thanks for the thanks for coming. And once again, eating all the chips. Sorry, man. I love my Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, Four hundred four. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Later, folks. This is the Nerd Room. This has been a presentation of the Nerd Realm with Havoc and 404 on the Lagan Art Network.